Are you looking for the Best Old TVs 2024 Top 5 Best Old TVs 2024 Review Buying Guide? In this video, we will look at some of the Best Old TVs 2024 Top 5 Best Old TVs 2024 Review Buying Guide on the Market. For more details, I price click product link. Please check the description below. Before we get started with our video, number one, LG3 OLED. The LG3 OLED is one of the best upper mid range old TVs we've tested. Although all OLEDs deliver similar fantastic picture quality, this one stands out for its value with its many gaming oriented features. It provides the same stunning picture quality as other OLEDs in dark rooms with perfect blacks and no blooming around bright objects. However, it uses a different old panel than the Samsung's 90s old or the Sony A90. Five old, so its colors aren't as vivid and the TV's dimmer than those models. On the other hand, it's available in a wider range of sizes from a small 42 inch to an impressive 83 inch size. It's also a better home theater TV than the Samsung TV as it has better image processing, supports the popular Dolby Vision hot format, and passes through advanced ETA audio formats. It's also an amazing TV for gaming thanks to its nearly instantaneous response time, low input lag, and a great selection of gaming features. It supports an meaning you can take full advantage of the S5 and Xbox Series X's capabilities with fork 120 of piece gaming. It has native free sense, <sighs> dummy form versus support, and G-Sync compatibility to reduce screen tearing. Like the A90, it's capable of Dolby Vision hide your gaming at 120 high Z, which is a great feature. It uses LG's Waybos, a user friendly smart platform with many apps available to download. The LG C4 Old is also available. The main difference with the new model is that it supports Fork 144C gamers with only very minor upgrades in some other areas. Unfortunately, the TV is quite expensive near launch. Unless you're a C gamer who wants 144 support, you're better off saving some money and getting the LG 3 Old while it's on sale. Number 2 LG3 OLED. If you'd like an old but don't need four HDMI 2.1 ports or high after peak brightness, the LG B3 OLED is a great mid range TV and can serve as an excellent entry point into the old market. The TV has all the features of the more expensive LG3 OLED, but the 3 is dimmer and has only two. It still delivers outstanding picture quality, especially in a dark room with its near-infinite contrast ratio delivering deep, inky blacks with no distracting blooming, the B3 is available in a more narrow range of sizes compared to the more expensive LG, 55, 65, and 77 inches. This TV has a wide color gamut and is extremely accurate without any calibration, so movies look as the content creator intended. It's also great for gaming with its two HDMI 2.1 ports offering up to fork 120 support, including Dolby Vision Gaming 120 high z It is compatible with every VR technology, has a fantastic response time, and has extremely low input lag. It also has Dolby Vision Eater, supports DCEE's advanced audio formats, and has very good image processing, making it a fantastic mid-range home theater alt Finally, it runs the same great web of smart interface as the more expensive models, which is still smooth and easy to use on this model. There's also the newer LG B4 Old. It has improved overall brightness and hydro gradient handling, and LG has increased the number of E.1 bandwidth ports to 4. The 4 is also available in a new 48-inch model, which is great for small rooms. Unfortunately, it's currently very expensive, so if you don't need those upgrades, you're better off getting the 3 while it's on sale. If you want those upgrades, you can currently find the better overall LG3 old for less than the cost of a board. Number 3. Hisense 8 and Qled. TVs have gotten insanely bright in 2020. 4 in the Hisense U8 and 8 and 10, Wired recommends, is among the brightest of the new order. To give you an idea of its potency, its peak brightness pushes toward twice the peak brightness of the UAK. 18. Wired recommends one of 2023's brightest TVs, brightest TV.
That kind of spectacle takes some getting used to, but it pairs with the u Aiton's quantum dot colors for dazzling performance, even in rooms flooded with light. An onboard optical sensor can help keep the brightness in check when the sun goes down, while the TV's mini LED backlight system allows for fantastic contrast and rich black levels. The, the U8 adds good usability thanks to a loaded Google TV interface, a speedy 120 IZ panel, and plenty of gaming features, including dual HDMI 2.1 ports for standards like VAR and ALM to get the most out of the best gaming consoles and PC. The new pedestal stand adds some extra class, too. The u mid-tier pricing equates to some compromises like mediocre, off-angle viewing, and some over-sharpened images, but few can match the Aiton's brightness and even fewer can top its performance value. Number 4. Samsung Sign D 5. Last year's 95QD Old TV, 18 Wired recommends, was Samsung's most impressive display, offering phenomenal brightness for an old TV, fabulous colors, and generally incredible picture quality, bolstered by great features and stunning design. For 2020, for Samsung takes an even bigger swing with the 95 to 810, Wired recommends, adding an anti-reflective screen coating for incredible glare resistance. Even direct lighting from inches away is dissipated with surprising efficacy. The trade off is that the 95 tends to lose some perceived depth in direct lighting. As the black backdrop swaps obsidian gloss for a duller matte coating, this is really only noticeable with very dark backgrounds and bright rooms, but it could be a reason for some to consider the sale priced 95s while still available. Otherwise, the 95 looks fantastic day or night with brilliant contrast and brightness that beats every all we've evaluated so far. Add in the same great features and design from last year, and you've got a killer cube, all that can take on even the toughest glare. Number 5. Samsung Ken 90. Samsung's Kindness. E. E. 810 Wired recommends is an excellent choice for those after a bright and punchy backlit TV. Red, non oled That doesn't skimp on the details. It serves up luscious image processing, rich and refined quantum dot colors, and plenty of other goodies to display your favorite content and style. Unlike a lot of lead-powered TVs, it even provides good off-axis viewing without any added reflective issues, resulting in a great picture wherever you sit. Along with its superb picture, the Kenaninus offers gaming, forward features like a 120C panel and four HDM 2.1 ports. Alongside cloud gaming from Samsung's excellent gaming hub, that's topped off by a stylish pedestal mount and relatively good onboard sound. The Ken 90's powerful local dimming can occasionally be slow to react, but this is a rarely noticeable drawback and otherwise excellent display. While the newer Kennedy promises some modest upgrades, like a lot of models right now, Ken 90's current sale price makes it a knockout value.